Wow. We're in love. <laughs> this is how he's never gonna leave me. Both Smart. charging your phones? Yeah, charging the phone with a power bank. Yep. You guys should both hold it together. <laughs> okay, it is freezing out there. Here, explorers, what is going on? Today is the day that we go to Loch Ness and we're gonna discover the monster. You know why we're gonna find him today? Because it's so cold outside. He's gonna be freezing in those waters where he's gonna go on the land to get hit by the heat of the sun. I don't know, man. What do you mean you don't know? Why are you always so negative? It's, it's so cold out <laughs> outside the water. <laughs> Okay, uh, we made it to Loch Ness, but it, like I said, this this whole lake is miles and miles and miles long. It's huge. So one area, we we're going to see something, and the next area, in a whole other area, it's, it's massive. It's massive. But this is where apparently Nessie is lying. He's somewhere in this water. Somewhere around here lies like a castle ruin. I'm gonna, I want, we want to try to find it and just chillax on it. And plus, I want to talk a lot about this lake. So the reason why you're seeing a mist is because the heat of the water is creating this mist. But it's because the lake, the sun's beaming on the lake, giving it heat, so you see all this mist. You can barely see it, but if you look where my finger is, it's a castle. Hopefully that if we drive over here and keep driving, it's going to turn and naturally sway our way over there. There it is. There's the castle. I think I'm going to try to fly my drone around here, get some epic lake views. There's really no way down though. Um, I'm just going to walk down somehow I'll jump down I don't care I'm going over there so apparently because of this you know little two inches of snow they closed the castle down so this is as far as we can go let me tell you something in the US it doesn't matter snow ice rain everything's open tours are open for everything even outside it can be certain things it's always open here Scotland apparently is scared of ice and snow you heard it here on Explore with Josh they're scared I'm sorry Scotland but I actually love your country but this is, what's with this baby stuff you guys are doing? I'm actually really pissed. It doesn't matter. Cause I, this, it doesn't matter cause I can still see the castle, it's right there. I'm just kind of annoyed cause this is the second time over a little bit of ice and snow. So you've seen the Loch Ness Monster too? Yeah, yeah I've seen it. You, yeah. You're not bullshit. You're not, not bullshit. Everyone says it exists and they've seen it. Yeah, I've seen it, I've seen it here. You've yeah. seen it where? Down here. Uh, Down there? To the right hand side of the tower. Oh my God. Did you have whiskey? Because one guy we interviewed, he said no. you need whiskey yeah. in order to see it. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, you don't need whiskey, of course. Yeah. How big this is it? How big is the Loch Ness Monster? The one I seen was at least, what, a neck on it, maybe 15 feet high. 15 feet really? high? Really? Yeah, with a, a distinct sheen. You're being serious right now? Yeah, I'll show you a photograph when you turn the cameras off. I'll show really? You. Really? I'll okay. Okay, okay. All right, I'm going to check. I gotta see it! Cheers. Let me zoom in. There's no, dude, there's no way. Come on, let me focus. Can I see? There's the Loch Ness right you there. Oh, you can see it, look, you can see it there. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh my God, right there, guys. You do guys. that with your phone? Yeah, yeah, it's coming down here. Uh, okay, can I can zoom in? Wow. What? No. I don't, man, it cool. looks legit, but. It does look yeah, legit. I'm just it's contemplating, I, I just don't get it. It's coming down here yeah. on a Sunday morning to unlock this castle. I opened up this castle on a Sunday morning. Uh-huh. And it was moving from right to left. And this just just the other side of the tower, and um, sort of snapped the pictures from range, but stood up there for five minutes in disbelief. That's oh amazing. Like, like, at, at this phenomenon, I wouldn't see it as a Loch Ness monster just because I'm quite a sober sort of person. You sell that picture, you get one million. And then it moved round into the bay and went under the water. Um, wow. Crazy. And, and basically, there was a massive hoo ha here. The management were out. All the all the members of staff had arrived. It was everybody speaking. So everyone was just standing here. Yeah, all looking down from. All and the you could all see it. All the yeah, all the members of staff. Wow. And then later on in the day, there was nothing. Uh, these people that run these Jacobite cruises, you may want to speak to them. These people that come down with tourists from the the, the further up the loch. There's a boat down there. Yeah, one of the some of the crew members in the afternoon saw it right further up the loch towards Inverness. So, and apparently one of these chaps that works on is a crewman on there, took photographs and sold them to people. So the exact length of this is about 40 miles long. If I go here and drive straight down, it takes 40 miles to get to the other side. Deep wise, it's over 900 feet deep. So the Navy has came through here multiple times with a sonar doing a test to see like how deep does it actually go on the ground and, and what's under there. And But they can't get an accurate test because of all the tunnels and caves under there. So they don't even know how deep it really goes. They don't know what's actually in this water, which is why Nessie could possibly maybe even be real. I don't know, but that's just how it goes. A lot of people in Scotland are dead believers of this place, but there's been tons of pranks, tons of like videos on this place where you don't even know if it's real or not. It could be a whole bunch of camera crews I've been here before too trying to find if it's real or not. 
whatnot. And then just kind of like cheating, saying, oh, this is real, but, but you know, by just doing like legit pranks. So no one really knows. But hey, he, this guy who's right here, who works here, claims it's real. There's a couple other people I talked to that claims it's real. So I don't really know. I think it's time to go into a, late, a way more accurate review and talk about this place during my history brief. Starting now, segment starts now. All right, Explorers, so there's actually so much random crazy history on this Loch Ness Monster dude that I don't even know exactly what's real and what's not. There's tons of it. There's tons of people who claim they've seen it. There's tons of people who claim they have a picture of it. A lot of it could be easily photoshopped, especially with all the technology and random programs that we have today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to briefly talk about the main history that got it to where it is now. So what got this place to be so popular actually all started on December 6, 1933 when the first photograph of the monster was taken by Hugh Gray and it was published in the Daily Express. Now what's crazy and interesting is that the Secretary of State of Scotland actually ordered police to prevent any attack on this monster just by the photograph. No one knew if this monster was really real or not, but by this photograph, Scotland wanted to study it, wanted to know what was going on and it, you know what, anything about this monster. So they prevented anyone from actually attacking it only going by a photo which is super interesting and then word spread it after that like that's when this whole place took off for real here's another interesting one on january 5th 1934 arthur grant claimed to nearly hit the creature when he was on his motorcycle driving around the lake it happened at 1 a.m and on a moonlight night apparently he said that he claimed that it had a small head attached to a long neck and the creature saw him and he ran back into the lake so when grant got off his bike he went to go find him, but he's seen absolutely nothing. He said that it looked like a seal and some sort of dinosaur. And so people sketched it out, and this is what the sketch looks like. Last but not least, the most famous photograph that is still shown today was actually taken in 1934 by Stuart and Marmaduke. But apparently it was proven fake in 1994. This, this looks, does look like Nessie, but it was actually a toy submarine outfitted by a sea serpent's head. It was revealed in 1994 by someone on his deathbed that was actually involved in the plot for creating this famous photograph. So he's about to die and he finally revealed that it was fake all along. So to wrap all this up, Explorers, I want to know in, your, in the comments below, what are your opinions on this? Do you think that Nessie's real or not? My opinion is that I think it is real, but I don't think he's still alive as of now. But then again, where would his body be? See, that's what I don't know, but maybe his body is like underneath the ground, still trapped by all those, in, the, in all those tunnels and whatnot. Um, also, um, I also think that possibly in my other theory is that it could be fake and that the tourism board, because I, I work with tourism boards, I know how, you know, they work, but I think the tourism board of Scotland in that area, or maybe someone that just had a, a fancy hotel wanted to promote it so bad that they thought, you know what, let's just create Nessie and, sh and, and, and keep pushing and promoting him to be real. So all these tourist people will come to Scotland and go see the Loch Lake and so that everyone could try to find it and they're going to pay money to sleep at their hotel. That's another, um, you know, great business, you know, smart plan. And that's what I think also could have happened. Regardless, who knows? It's still really cool and interesting. And it brought me there. So it worked regardless. It's pretty mind blowing, you know, like I go from ghost hunting and all this stuff and making all these videos, doing all this crazy things. to now freaking trying to find urban myths and monsters and likes are real. I love it. All right, so we ran into a little situation that could go bad, but could go okay. So on our car, we have five miles to empty, but that's what it says. It could usually go an extra 10 miles or even 15 or whatever. But we're actually in the middle of nowhere, and the only gas station is actually 13 miles away. So on the car, it says we have five miles away, but can it actually make 13 miles? We'll find out right now, because we're going to risk it all. We're in the middle of nowhere. I hope this works. Yeah, look at that. No, no, not, dude. Oh, now shit. it says zero. Oh, no. It literally says zero miles to empty. What do you think? Yeah. You think this car can do it? I've got faith. <laughs> I've got faith. We it's need minus, faith. It's minus nine. It died. So how do you know it died? It's just cut out. It cut out. Yeah. It died. The car legit died. We have three miles to go though. We can hike it. Yeah, I'm not too. Hey, maybe we just stop right here. Oh man. Well, it's better than nothing. Well, we're stranded. Oh. For the girl. Helen, get I'm out trying. there. Put the thumbs up and say we're stranded. Right, oh, no, you got us. <laughs> Helen's gonna save us all. Yeah. So, uh, this guy's saving our life right now. Life. This guy's saving our life. Okay, we're on a mission. We're gonna fight to survive. I'm gonna go get some gas. We're gonna save you guys. You guys stay here and protect the car. I'm coming back. 
leave the gas station with five What's what's super funny is that I remember how we told Helen to stop outside. Well the guy said in the car Andy was like, Yeah, I stopped because I seen the girl but I was going too fast. So he drove around. So it's true. Because we seen <laughs> because they seen Helen the girl, that's why he stopped. Yes. Alright, here we go. I just found out that in the UK, at least here around here, you pay for, you put the gas in first and then you pay in there. Completely different. In, in the US, you're gonna pay your gas first and then put it in. Now that is an example of how to fight to survive. Hell yeah. yes. That's what we have to do. <laughs> Damn. It's because there's no fuel in the in the uh, fuel line. We might have to pump it somehow. I don't even know how to do it. He and the guy said it might not work. Really? Yeah, I was like, damn, I, it's because of diesel cars. Is it, what is it? Is it because is there's no gas yeah. in the fuel line? So we're gonna try to push the car while starting it, and it might work. We're all gonna have to work together. This is teamwork, baby. We're gonna fight to survive. We're not gonna die out here of hunger. This is all happening at once. I gotta tell you all what happened though. So as we're pushing the car down the hill. I was trying to, after like we pushed hard, I got super exhausted. That's when I actually stopped and I gave up. Cars rolling down the hill by itself. It finally started up. As me and Helen stopped, well, we all stopped. I literally could not get air. I don't know, if, I, I don't even, I can't explain this. It never happened before, but I had no air. I was breathing hard. No air was going into my lungs, it felt like. I started to get really scared. And then like, I just sat down on the ground because I was getting dizzy. And I felt my, like my lungs were gonna explode. I even felt like, I, I was like tasting blood or, it felt really heavy, it felt like they were opening up or they felt like they were filling up with liquid, I didn't know, but it was so scary. And then I ended up just after a while, just it went away and uh, it was just scary actually. I, I don't know, I, I felt like I was gonna die, I was like what's going on? But I just know, I think it's because of the cold, it's super super cold and there's like no air or something out here. But that was the first time that's ever happened to me. But now this issue with the car, I just don't understand. <laughs> this is bad wait, luck. Wait, wait, wait. All right, one last game of rock, paper, scissors before bed. It's for the freaking big bed. You already know. Who's it going to be? This is a competition. Let's do it, guys. Well, it just sucks because whoever loses will be right next to Steve, and that'll be horrible. Exactly. To be right, dead okay. ass if, on Steve wins, if Steve wins, <clears throat> he, he can have a double bed. But if Steve loses or gets to the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just. He, corner. He'll be in the corner, bro. Yeah. Rock, paper, scissors, shoe. Rock, paper, scissors, shoe. Rock, paper, scissors, shoe. Oh, uh, no! Yeah! That's right, good, that's good. Not, it's for the corner bed now? No, I you, get, you can... Oh, no, you no, 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 you just have it. I yeah. want to be as far away from Steve as possible, bro. <laughs>